Hey everyone, this is Manly Badastro and welcome to Makoto Mobius. Makoto Mobius is a game made by Chiran who usually makes Yandere games. In contrast to the other games, this game is a lot darker and a little bit less of a parody or a kind of tribute to Yandere tropes. It features quite a bit of time travel and has some overall darker themes, so warning ahead. Hey, do you know about Mobius? They say he'll rewrite the past for you, but only one time. It came out of nowhere, directed at me for some reason. The girl who sat next to me, Makoto, asked me that. She was simply a classmate. We were in the same class, but we had never really spoken much. And yet, Makoto came to me with that question. That night, Makoto died. I didn't even know whether it was a suicide, homicide, or accident. It was never revealed. Makoto has passed away. The truth of the incident had vanished into darkness. That was all the teacher would tell me. I... I honestly half expected him to be the kind of stereotypical seat window second from the back. I don't really care. I don't care that the classmate who sat next to me died. Even though she had disappeared. It's not like we were related in any way. I don't feel anything whatsoever. You can tell what kind of person I am by my hairstyle and how my one bang covers one eye. I'm not even sad. I didn't have a single connection to her. She was just a person who coincidentally sat next to me. Everything would be the same even without her. The same quiet everyday life. She was gone. But my life would go on. Good morning, person I've just met. I always look like this. It's called depression. I had a scary dream. This girl is Mikio. Like Makoto, she's just another classmate who rarely speaks to me, because I don't talk to anyone, and I have no friends. Also, her eyes look really smug and sly, which kind of weirds me out. Apparently, she was Makoto's best friend. Even when you're putting on a frown, you look kind of smug. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but... It, it feels kind of sneaky, because you're also the icon of the game, and I'm wondering, you know, what's going on. Get out of here, weirdo. 
You look way too happy. Especially considering your best friend died. You're Mobius, aren't you? I'm trying to think of all the different kind of loop time travel stories that involve like trying to save someone, like Steins Gate. To, uh, well, no. What are you talking about? I guess Donnie Darko? Yeah, Donnie Darko, kind of. Uh, Mirai Nikki had some weird uh, time travel... little gimmicks like that, basically. They're not all exactly the same, but... They're kind of like a twist on things. Dead people die when killed. With this game and the kind of sequence of how Charon's release these games and the writing in them, you can kind of... Uh, how do I describe this? You can kind of tell what they've been like reading or watching when they get their influences at the time. That's just an urban legend. So some of the earlier ones were a little more traditional, and now we got some gimmicks showing that they've been reading certain VNs or manga. You've met him too, in your dreams. We shared that dream. Don't run away, this is not creepy. How do I know if this is all just not a loop that I've already been experiencing and you're just initiating the loop again? How do I know I haven't failed over 200 times, if not thousands or millions? How do I know that's not just not a big trick? And at the end of this, I'm just gonna be on some stupid vine. Oh, uh... Yumuniko and uh, Higarashi are never loop, loop, loop thing. You're gonna make me actually say this eight times, aren't you? I guess it can't be helped. I'll have to use that. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I beg of you. Mobius, I really beg of you. Mobius, I think I might be begging for you. Mobius, if people can just use a piece of construction paper to access your international time dimension, how come not everyone's doing it? Mobius, I have no relation to Frodo. Mobius, this is the final time I'll probably beg for you. Makoto can be saved by me. Why? Is it because my choice of seating in the classroom? Does this make me the chosen one? How? But in that moment, as my consciousness drifted away, I heard someone's voice calling out to me.
Ah, uh, I see what the symbol is. Both a representation of infinite and the ring of fate. Being twisted. I think. Not sure if Mobius has a thing for puns. But you can tell from that dialogue right there, you're just continuing the loop, but it's been going on who knows how many countless times. The next instant, I was there. A calming night breeze, a gently shining moon. Was this Makoto's house? I think this atmospheric noise was used for paranormal syndrome. Like, a lot. Let's see, my, what's my skills? I also have the Sniff Sniff skill, like the R1 character. Curse, I'm a host of a curse. And I have a death flag, meaning I'm gonna die. Cool. Probably one of the fastest bad ends you can get. I discovered this ending when I did my test run of this game, when I just tried it out to see if I wanted to play it, and uh, the story kind of hit me for a wally. Considering the other ones were a little bit campy, and this one's just. You'll see what I mean. I just compared to the other stories, it's gets dark real fast. Kind of wondering where the main character is seeing this from. Makoto had died. She had been forced into an emerald suicide by her own father. Just what had her life been like for her to have died like that? Would I be better off dead? Why did she ask me that? I wasn't a friend or a family member. 
I was just her classmate. One she never really spoke to at that. Yet she asked me. Mako's the kind of girl who wouldn't ask for help, even if she really wanted it. Makoto. Might have wanted me to help her. Exactly because I was neither friend nor family. Exactly because I was just a classmate. Perhaps that fact is the reason she was able to say those words at all. Makoto! I can tell this is going to be a really sad story. Probably a little bit cliche, actually. Maybe not in a good way, but... Sad one nonetheless. Don't die. Doesn't do much. I really don't know how to respond to that. Like, like I said, it, it is cliche writing, but I don't know. Still makes me kind of upset. No, it really isn't. Sometimes people just want to cry out for help, and then when they can. The worst part is she experiences the loop, apparently. Now that I'm looking at you, you look a bit like Homura, which is kind of fitting, I guess. Oh, which is another loop loop story. Jane. Today is June 23rd. Cold coffee, you bastard. Let's see, is there anything I can do in here? Nope. Faucet. I'd like to select the slow text speed. Kitchen knife. Okay, you can't equip it. Alright, so that's the kitchen. It's the bathroom. Koto. And this is... No one here. Wait, no, that's a person, not a chair. He's taking a nap. Let's wait one second. Sleeping pills. 
Damn, there's a lot of options to kill you, isn't there? Why do I sniff everything? Yeah, you clearly had issues resolving your personal problems and explaining them in a very non-violent way. Yeah, let's go for it. I caught her land and died, but I probably went to jail. She had been saved. Yeah, but she's probably not emotionally saved. Be one of those endings. I killed her father and saved her. Makoto cried her eyes out every day after that, but after a while, she slowly began returning to normal. Oh, this worked out weirdly. Character development. I'm not sure I did the right choice, but you're welcome. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna end up happy, isn't it? it never does. It's never that easy. Thinking about what? Thinking about how this music changed really fast and it makes things seem very ominous? I guess so, yeah. Now tell me you want revenge. Oh, damn. I can explain things. I'm a time traveler. You are also a time traveler. And I just saved your life. You don't believe me, do you? Also, that's not... That's, I don't think you can turn your neck like that. I, think, I don't think that's actually possible. This is not gonna work either way. <laughs> Oh, I see how you took that. That's real awkward. Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Don't know about that. Is this like a real knock against people who just think murder is the answer? Because it's, it's alright asking you, how do you think things would end up? Well, not quite like this, if I could jail, but it's not too far off.
That's such a such a negative attitude. Which isn't again what I did was murder. Oh no. Makoto killed herself. She took her own life of her own free will. If this world was really such a painful, hellish place to live in for them, maybe this was for the best. Alright, let's look around this place this time. Countless eights engraved on it. There's a thing with eights in Japanese. I can't remember what exactly it was. I used to always know because I used to read Grabber, uh, watch Nico Nico a lot, and it was always there, but. Yeah, might as well. Such awful family situations in these games. They're not really games, they're more visual novels, but this one's somewhat like a game. She's kind of similar to... I guess maybe there's a point to that, Makoto, from Makoto Niki. But... She's not like a stereotypical... You gotta murder everyone... thing, it's... A little more realistic, I guess, as far as anime plot lines go. Dreams. Hope. You can tell you've reached the lowest point of depression when you start viewing yourself or wishing you weren't human. one of those things where you become, uh, there's a term for it, I forget now, but it's how you view yourself and your ego, essentially. There's a better way, better, much better way of saying it, but that's the gist of it.
There's a lot more depression going on here. Why does my main character have a gloomy look on his face? There's some vague backstory for me, probably never gonna be explained. I think all the main characters we've played in these games have been kind of gloomy. They're not necessarily gloomy people, but they have this kind of look on their face. I guess it's just generic main character syndrome. Nothing has been written after this yet. Probably because I broke into their house to try and save them. Mr. Cactus, the true hero of this adventure. Wait up on that. Christ! What is with... Uh, I don't even know. Let's call our friend with his shady eyes, who started this whole weird time travel adventure. Hi. I'm calling from this house I just broke into. Um, there's gonna be a murder here in about an hour. You need to come over right away. Also, I'm from the future. I think Makoto might die. Yeah. Trust me. Maybe call some services or police. Even just the inconvenience of a visit can delay the... the... the events, actually. Someone has to take her place. Wait, what? How, how do we get to this logic? This is... This is... This is bananas. How... Well, how is she answering us so casually? Like, I got it. Okay, someone's gonna die? Sure, I'll be right there. I don't even... I don't even know. Maybe we should just, like, get some rope and just tie up the father, maybe? Just for one night? Mikio died that night. It was a suicide. And this... this ending is really weird. Mikio has passed away. Creating a spin-off. Mikio Nikki. Or Mikio Mobius or something. Mikio took her own life to St. Makoto's. Hi. This didn't work out at all, did it? I know, it was a stupid idea. Protag wouldn't listen to me. Would you believe me if I told you I called her up and told her she had to do it to save the world? Well, you, but, you know, something similar. Mikio had became a replacement. That was all there was to it. 
If fate says that Makoto should die today, it's fine if someone else dies in her place. I, I don't... This, this logic still really bothers me. That way, the world can stay in balance, and Makoto's life can be saved. The true ending is going to be me committing suicide, isn't it? No. She died, so wait, why am I telling you this? Hmm, I guess my protagonist is saying that. That's not a good smile. That guy's really bad at making people happy. Like, I could see suicide, suicide, suicide for myself evens out the numbers, and it also beats out the fate of always having to repeat these events kind of thing. It's a weird double situation that's really twisted. And yet, Makoto had been saved. Saved by exchanging Mikio's life for hers. Well, she actually was saved, I guess, but she's gonna have depression later. Oh, wait, wait, this ain't over. Damn. Kim was listening to me. I hate when he does that. What? The rule. I, I guess I did. I, I, I have to take the blame for that one. It was a really stupid idea. I'm sorry. Uh oh. <laughs> that didn't change too.